Welcome to the Divination Wrestling Show, Episode 2. Um, it has been a very long time since I um, have done the first episode. I know the first episode was shot way back in like May or something like that. So that's, yeah, wow. Um, so Episode 2, you guys, I want to talk about what is really going on in the wrestling industry right now, which is... The possible sale of TNA Wrestling, um, which could mean that former WWE stars will be coming back um, after signing new deals with TNA. So we're looking at Bobby Lashley, Matt Hardy. Um, yeah, I mean, half their roster pretty much. Cody Rhodes, Damian Sandow. Um, and then you would get tag teams like the Wolves and Decay. Um, so if WWE does decide to buy TNA, they are going to be stocked full of new talent, which means a lot of that talent would go to NXT. Um, frankly, if Raw is smart, they should be getting some of that talent to help their, their, their ratings with, with Raw because right, right now, my definition of raw is it stinkums big time other than the cruiserweight division uh kevin owens is champion not really digging that um roman reigns did win the united states championship so maybe he'll start kind of helping that division out um tag team division now yeah, it's okay um, the New Day has been champion for over a year and five weeks, which I'm really not thrilled with. They need to have somebody please beat them because I'm getting tired of, of New Day at, at, at this point. Um, SmackDown, you guys, honestly, I think is, is excelling higher than, than it ever has as far as the talent because they're getting... A lot of the really talented wrestlers on their show now instead of you know while raw used to do that so i would say watch smackdown more if you like you know great competition because you know they do have john cena aj styles bray wyatt randy orton um the tag team division is phenomenal there's great competition in that the women's division on smackdown is great so far we've had great rivalries um, no Mercy is coming up. That should be a great, you know, um, show. Um, frankly, um, I've heard lots of rumors going around right now, um, such as Hulk Hogan um, has signed a contract and he is coming back uh, around WrestleMania. Um, and some of the ROH talents, uh, such as Adam Cole, which I believe, wow, that is a big sign if WWE had, does have him because that should definitely help out the um, intercontinental um, situation with Ziggler and Miz. I'm not really too into that. I could really care less who wins the title at this point. Um, but if Adam Cole gets involved in that, if he shows up, or Matt Hardy or Jeff Hardy, yes, the, the intercontinental title will have some histories. Uh, competition as far as what's going to happen. Um, I would like to see some of the older wrestlers come back. I know Kurt Angle is very interested in coming back and wrestling at WrestleMania, possibly wrestling a match against Brock Lesnar. I say go for it. I would like to see Kurt Angle kick Brock Lesnar's ass. I would laugh so hard if that happens. Um, that's pretty much what's going on in the wrestling world world right now. Um, Paige is, we don't really know her situation other than she's hurt again. Um, she was supposed to come back, but her injury apparently needs surgery. So we're not really looking at her coming back for, well, maybe five weeks before WrestleMania. So, um, Vince McMahon right now is kind of being pushed out of the wine life, um, but that's because he's almost 80 years old, and his philosophy in the business is nothing 
the way that his children are doing it right now, which I commend them for. They're really trying to change WWE um, for what's happening. Um, but if you guys do decide to buy TNA, I just say bring in that talent, but slowly, not just full, you know, full screen right in front of us. Um, build up storylines. That's what we want as wrestling fans. We don't want the same thing over and over again. We've seen it, you know, for half our lives. Um, so that's what I'm gonna say. Um, is episode two, Dev Nation Wrestling Show. Um, I will be back with episode three. Um, that will um, pretty much kind of update you on what's happening with the sale of TNA wrestling um, and what Billy Corgan has to say because he's officially the uh, part-time owner of TNA wrestling. Um, Billy Corgan? Yes, he is the part-time owner. Are you serious? Yes, he's the part-time owner. Yes. Oh my God, I didn't know that. Uh, he was just announced as the part-time owner. Wow. So, um, episode three will be up soon, you guys. Um, no Mercy is this Sunday. So we'll see kind of what happens with that. Um, and then there is Tables, Ladders, and Chairs, the Raw pay-per-view, which will be coming up at the end of October around Halloween. I look forward to that because we're going to get some really bloody and gory matches and ladder matches and I think even possibly an Inferno match, um, which I look forward to if that happens. So peace, everybody, um, and long live wrestling.